Uh, first of all, before I start this video, I just want to um, say uh, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. Um, prayers going up to him and his family, man. It's just, you know, I don't really, um, I don't know. I don't be knowing what to say when stuff like this go down. I, just, I feel it. But at the same time, you know, can't help but to be upset about stuff like this, you know, when, you know, when, when, when guys go out so young, you know, for no reason, you know what I'm saying, just, I don't know, man, I don't, I just, <clears throat> it happens, it happens every day. This, this person right here, he affected a lot of people's lives, you know what I'm saying, and he, um, you know, he seemed like he was just doing positive things, you know what I mean, you know, re regardless of the rap or his, his status, you know, his status just merely gave him a platform so he was able to do, you know, some positive things, and especially in the community we grow up, we grew up, uh, where, where the same place he, um, his life ended. So I just want to, um, I just want to send, you know, prayers up to, uh, him and his family, you know, and may God rest his soul, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's it on that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can go on all day about it, but, you know, it's just crazy, man. So, uh, rest in heaven, my dude. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. Today, I want to go over some of the sneaker releases of April. This is going to be our get them or forget them for the month of April, man. Now, like last month was very, very lackluster. Um, it was, it, let's just say it, it was trash. Last month... <laughs> <laughs> March just went in the mood for sneaker releases. A, a couple of things came out, but uh, you know, I, I, I saved a lot of money in March. Saved a lot of money in March. After February, you have all your All Star stuff going crazy. March is very, very easy not to uh, cop stuff, especially if it ain't really hidden, hidden. You know what I'm saying? But um, with that being said, I feel like we should go on ahead and get into these April releases, man. April just happens to be your boy Rich birth month. My birth, my birthday is on Friday. And your boy be up there, you know what I'm saying? I be up there age, I'm getting up there age. I will be 37 years old. And that's three that's three years away from 40, man. Woo! I'm starting to see why some of y'all calling me uh uh unk. You know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd be getting the unk because I still call them out the older guys older than me, unk. You feel me? Well, what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to see why people call me that, man. But I'm 37, I still feel like I'm 25. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna keep on doing this YouTube thing for the foreseeable future. If I see it, see it start to slow down and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I will bow out the game gracefully, you feel me? Uh, why, why, why I'm still up a little bit. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into these uh, April releases, man. So I'm looking at release calendar now. First thing that comes up to me, like I said, I never do every single release because this this uh, video would last forever if I did every release in the month. So I'm gonna start off with the um some of just some of the ones that stuck out to me, some of the ones that I feel like should be mentioned in this uh video. Y'all comment below if I missed something that you were uh, looking forward to. Starting off with the KD 12 90s kid. Give me a little room over here so y'all can get a bigger picture on this side. KD 12. Now, honestly, I've been fan. I've been a fan of KDs for a long time, but it's only like two silhouettes that I actually really like. My favorite is the KD four, and with basketball shoes, man, you just never know what they're gonna do. Now, these last few silhouettes from LeBron, KD, and everybody have been kind of trash. I'm not even gonna lie; they've been kind of, but only trash in the levels of. Um, casual wear because they still look dope on feet on the court. It's just the casual wear. This shoe right here goes back to the 90s with all the bright colors and stuff like that. Honestly, it looks better than the last three KD models. I think the KD9 was like the last one I kind of liked, but it was still basically for on court use only. This one right here kind of just reminds me of more of the same as Dex concerned, but it does look better than the last at least three, four models. It looks uh, kind of remind me of that BB Adapt shoe. A little bit by the sole and the outsole and stuff like that, the midsole. So it's a better look. And if I see somebody rocking them with some tech fleece pants, something very, very tape that look dope on feet, I get them the thumbs up. But it still don't mean I'm going to cop this shoe. I might not get any iterations of this shoe. Um, got to see them in hand uh, first and foremost. Though. I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad they got the laces and they got like an actual tongue. It don't seem like it's a one piece by looking at it on these pictures. But I let y'all be the judge of that. So what y'all think about that? Um, anyway, it is a forget them. I won't be copying any basketball shoes anytime soon, especially with all the new tech and stuff like that. Just not really a good look for casual wear, in my humble opinion. For forget them, get them on out of here. 
You got a whole bunch of Ultra Boost, uh, brand new Ultra Boost coming out. I actually won't even get into them because our Ultra Boost look the same pretty much. Um, and y'all can say that about retros too, but for some reason, I mean, just because I'm such a Nike and Jordan guy, I still bring up when they bring retros out. But as far as the Ultra Boost, that's a new, newer technology shoe, and it's just like exactly the same in different colors. And I'm not, I'm not you know, I'm not a big fan of the Ultra Boost. My bad, you feel me? But um, uh, I got a couple of Jordan 33 lows. I won't really go over them too much either. Uh, this Nike is at most uh, Nike Air Max 2 light. It's dope though. Another shoe that take you kind of back to the 90s and stuff like that. I'm a really big fan of because I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, so I'm a big fan of the colors, the big bang crazy colors that's hitting in your face, left hook, right hook. You feel me? It's just. It's like a patchwork shoe though. It's like they put a whole bunch of like nylon looking like uh, 90s clothing together, especially made by Nike, and they just like sewed them together and then just put like a plastic clear covering over them for the shoe. I think it's a dope look. I think it's come with like three laces or something. Like you get a Volt color or a red color and you know some other kind of, it's like three laces that come with the shoe and I think you can um, really put, switch those laces up, switch clothes up. out. With this shoe, I would be going with mostly like monotone, one color, two color at the most on the clothes, maybe just one. And then let the shoes just go bow, just pop out. You know what I'm saying? But a lot, I don't know how y'all feel about that shoe. Um, they come out actually on my birthday. It says April, over April 5th for the release date. And I uh, don't have a um, don't have a price on them, but I will be probably trying to go after those. I don't I don't own any Atmos uh, collabs, so this probably will be my first one if I go ahead and grab them. Um, next up, now I wasn't gonna talk about this because I usually don't talk about phone posits because to me phone posits kind of like eh. Uh, lately, they've been trying to put all these crazy colors on them, but this one right here looks dope to me. Actually, I saw these on uh, what's the guy name? Um. Oh, I think his name Pat or something like that. I, I can't remember his name. I used to know. Anyway, he did a real, he did a on feet of them, and they look very dope on feet. I ain't even gonna lie. It's, it's the hyper crimson, and the the actual stitching has all the light hyper crimson against the um the upper, and, it, and the upper has this real like I don't know like it's it's a phone posit pro, which I'm not a fan of. I like the regular phone posit better. If I would go with a phone posit, but these right here, when you see them, how them colors hit on his video, he did a real like. Um, he did like a really high definition uh, video. Let me try to get his name first. Y'all want to see him on feet? Okay, yeah, man. So his name is uh, Pat is dope. That's right, Pat is dope. I, don't know, I knew it was Pat, but um, he did a on feet of him. Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Hyper Crimson Doper Note is the vi name of the video he did on him. Um, the the like I said, they pop. Like I'm not really big on phones, but that shoe pops on feet, man. I probably still won't buy it. Uh, shout out to my guy Sniper John John. You might be able to get you a pair of these, man. If I were you, I don't know how you feel about the pros, but this is a dope shoe. I'm not even gonna count. And coming out of my mouth, it's it's rare to say that a phone posit is a dope shoe because I'm just not the biggest fan of phones. But with that being said, they are still a forget them. Just can't really do the phones. Y'all seen my uh, videos in the past. Them things hurt my feet like crazy. I don't care. I mean, people tell me to break them in. I must have got to break them in for a month before they start feeling comfortable because I literally put phones on a whole day and still end up being like, you know what? I can't do these. So anyway, man, those are dope. Uh, next up is the shoe that a lot of people been asking me about, and it comes out this weekend, April 6th, the day after my birthday. White and red things. Air Jordan 14 things, supposedly Rip Hamilton things, but we're gonna call them the Candy Cane 14 things, man. The Air Jordan 14 Candy Cane was supposed to release last year, was rumored to release last year, never released. A lot of stuff is rumored to release, and I think when some people rumor these sneakers right here, either Nike is listening and said we're gonna bring that shoe out because it was the hype, or Nike is actually putting that bug out there. They, they said put this rumor out there to see if people bite on it to see if we actually should bring this shoe out next year. But if y'all haven't got the word yet, Nike, we want Flint 13s, man. I read some earlier article said the Flint 13s, 13s might come out this year, but until I see official images, until I see the shoe sitting on shelves, until I see the shoe on Nike's website, I won't believe that. I need Flint 13s. That actually might be a double up shoe because I plan on wearing mine ASAP as soon as I get a pair, man. Flint 13s are lit. But these Air Jordan 14 candy canes are fire. And also, um, what did I say about the, I didn't, I didn't say anything about the Air Max 2. Get them, get them for the Air Max 2. I'm going to try to cop those. Get them. I said forget them about the phone pods and about these candy cane 14s. Get them! Coppage, man. I gotta have them OG colorway. You feel me? 
Air Jordan 14 candy canes gonna be on feats, man. You feel me? Get them. Uh, next up. Uh, we got another KD-12, it's called the Day One. I didn't even really want to talk about this because I talked about the first KD-12, but this one has the um, the colorway that kind of remind, uh, really reminds me of the um, BB Adapts. That's what that, that shit reminds me of, point blank period. I mean, I, I'm, I know I'm gonna see some people rocking them casually, but KD, obviously KD lost a lot of fans when he went to Golden State, let's just be honest. Uh, probably not uh, Golden State fans, but he, he lost a lot of fans when he went up there. So, um, And I, I'm pretty sure his shoes took a decline too. People, not many people buy them as that much as they used to. Or some people just never been a fan of KD's line of sneakers anyway. Um, do y'all do y'all still consider uh, Kevin Durant a top tier Nike athlete? I know LeBron and Kyrie, they kind of get a lot of love, but do y'all still uh, consider KD up there? Um, Y'all let me know. Comment below. Um, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Message Link X Nike Air Max Susan. This is for that movie that's releasing, which is going over my head right now. Let me click on it and see if I can remember what the movie, the name of the movie is. I guess the film is called Missing Link. So I'm tripping. <laughs> that's the name of the film. Missing Link is an animated uh, kind of like um, motion capture, whatever. What do they call that kind of animation? I can't remember the name of it, but it's coming out for that movie right there. If I can get them, I think they're going to be a quick strike. I think they're going to be limited. I think they're going to sell out. I'm going to go for them. So let's go ahead and say get them right now, even though I might not get them. You feel me? Um, but I, li I like the shoe. MS ones are dope, and I love the colorway on that one. Uh, next up is saying that we have the LeBron Nike Zoom 3 Home 2019. In my opinion, they can have these. These are very stumperish. I'm, I've never been a fan of the LeBron 3s. It's just a little bit too bulky, and I know I got bulky shoes. It's some stuff that nostalgia just just get me. You know what I'm saying? The nostalgia just jump on me, be like, Rich, going to get them. And then it's other stuff like this, and I'm just like, man, I ain't got to have them. Never really been a fan. So most of the stuff that I, the, the clunky and chunky stomp stomp shoes that I get, um, they got nostalgia. It's stuff that I wanted back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this shoe right here, I've never been a fan of, so it's not that really that nostalgia fact. I remember it, but I remember not liking them back in the day. So I've never really been big on LeBron shoes until like LeBron 8s, LeBron 7, 8, 9, stuff like that release. Uh, so that's a forget them for the LeBron uh, 3 home 2019 things. Um, real quick, just want to go over the um, Air Jordan 12 Women's Black Reptile. It's almost a, a direct replica of my Master 12s that's sitting right here, so I'm, so I'm not really hurt at all about that shoe um, not being in men's, you know what I'm saying? Um, the reptile skin, whatever, they add a little gold hit on the side. I think it's a white, yeah, it's a white hit on the side on the, uh, on that uh, Master 12. Pretty much the same shoe in my humble opinion, but y'all comment below and tell me what y'all uh, think they a women's shoe, so I don't have to say get them or forget them, it's a forget them anyway. Uh, next up, I just want to go a few of these Air Max. You got the, are these releasing? Are they all gonna be super, super limited or quick strikes? You get the one. This is from the uh, the thing where they have people design different shoes for Nike, and they actually look like they're bringing out all the shoes. Last time they waited for the next year to bring out the shoe, didn't they? And it was just one winner. So I have no idea. I had never done any research on what they're doing with all these shoes, but they got the Tokyo Maze. Not really crazy about it. I mean, I have to see it on feet. It looks like right, looks different, look artistic, but I don't think I'd be copying that shoe. Next, you have the. Uh, the Air Max 98 Air La Melska. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That one is a dope shoe. I've seen pictures of it. I think I've seen a video of that shoe too. So it's clean, but I still say forget them on that. Forget them on those two. Nike Air Max 97 uh, Neon. So now I really like that one. And I will try for it. That's about it. That's all I can say. So yeah, I'll try for it. <laughs> Next up, we got a Nike Air Max 97 Shanghai Kaleidoscope. Um... These look kind of crazy, but you know what I'm saying? Just, I feel like I'd be overkill buying all these shoes. They look dope. But I'm gonna have to give a tentative forget them on these things right now. Just don't, just, yeah, I got a, I got all the really all the 97s that I really need in my collection. Uh, if y'all haven't seen my Air Max collection, y'all go back a couple videos, check that out. Uh, and then the Air Max 97, Air London Summer of Love. Uh, is that a part of the pack too? It look like it might just be a regular release, but I think it is. Summer of Love, uh, it's gonna be a forget them on those. Just, those colors are dope, but uh, not the biggest fan of white, I think, on Air Max. Just plain. I mean, I got, I got the eggnog joints, the, the undefeateds, but I don't know, man. I, I can't just, it's just something about this shoe I'm not really feeling like that. So won't begin those. Um, with all the praise of the phone posits I gave at the beginning of this video, um, we got the Nike Air Phone Posit 1 snakeskin, guys. Trash. 
It's not terrible. I'm just saying, Nike, you be trying a lot of stuff, man. I sound like I seen somebody customize something like this a while back. I could be wrong. But Nike Air, phone pods, and one snake skin. Eh. Don't gotta have them. I mean, they foams anyway, so I wouldn't buy them. But just my opinion on the shoe itself. Why are you putting snake skin on the phone? I, I mean, I guess it's. I have to see them on feet, I guess. I mean, some people are gonna rock them right. Somebody gonna put them with a dope outfit and make them thing look clean on feet. And those those uh, crimson uh, phone pods of pros that I saw, if I didn't see them on feet, I probably would be saying they they were not they weren't the move either. But seeing them on feet um, on Patty's dope video, I thought they were dope. These right here, I might change my tune if I see them on feet. But for right now, um, and forever will be a forget them, get them out of here. Uh, next up is a shoe that I know I'm getting. It's my third. It's gonna be my third. Get them on the video. It's the Air Jordan One Low Blue Snake Skin. Speaking of snake skin, you feel me? These right here looking dope. Um, expect to see these in my um collection real real soon. Expect to see these a video on these real real soon. Hint <laughs> hint. Like that. Um, um. Next up is these are Blazer collabs with Saki Sakai. I don't even know who that is. It's two of them coming out. Uh, I'm good on those. It, they doing a lot with the shoe, but I'm not a fan of Blazer, so they can, uh, that's that's a forget them for sure. And speaking of Nike Adapt uh, BB, they got another one coming out, says Dark Gray. Not a fan of that shoe. Dope technology, just, I don't know, it just seemed like an on-court shoe. It looked dope on feet with some tech pants, but you know what I'm saying? Just because it looked good with tech pants don't mean it just looked good casually all the time. Tech pants are like exercise pants with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, a couple more left. Uh, Air, Nike Air Trainer 3 Medicine Ball. Uh, a lot of people say it's the OG Rich. I know you want those. I know you're going after those, but the answer is no. Never been a fan of the Medicine Ball colorway, and never really been a big fan of the Nike Air Trainer Three. I like them to a certain extent because they just kind of got that '80s, '90s vibe to them. But I never copped a pair, and I probably never will. It's just all that cage type defensive mechanism stuff on the on the shoes just look crazy to me, man. I'm not a fan. So uh, y'all can have them, forget them, get them on out of here. They OGs, but they're forgotten at this point. Um, next up. Which I didn't know this was a women's only shoe. Is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's Panda. Um, I was feeling it to a certain extent when I saw earlier images of the shoe. But now I'm just like. I'm good. Just a white and black Jordan 1. Like he got some suede or some kind of light haired suede on there. Something like that. Um, why would they make a black and white shoe just women's only though? I don't know. But um, y'all like that face? But um, I'm not getting those. I'm not going after. I'm not gonna try to get like the size 14 women's just so they fit on my feet. That's a that's a forget them for sure. Forget them. Last two, man. Speaking of Jordan ones, we got the Air Jordan One OG High Crimson Tint. Uh, Tony D did a video on these already. Saw his own feet and everything. They're a clean shoe. But honestly, I just this is a shoe I definitely have to see in hand before I cop it. Just from from the influx crazy amount of Air Force One. I mean uh, Air Jordan ones I got. It's just. I have to see it in hand, man. If it just wows me when I see it in hand, wow, it doesn't wow me. Have you ever been wild before about a sneaker? If, it's just, if I go crazy about it when I see it, like, oh man, the material is good, the color is fine, I'll probably get it. But for right now, it's a tentative. I have a, ten a tentative, forget them, get them out of here. You feel me? Uh, the, the materials look good. They remind me of like, uh, it was a black, not a black history, man. It was an uh, all star shoe, or LA, or something like that that came out a couple years back. And the leather reminds me of that, that super tumble leather, but not really the softest leather or something. Like that. It would have looked like on um, from pictures. Next up, we had to leave on a, a bad note. I already gave y'all my opinion about the shoe, so I'm gonna be quick this time. It's the Air Jordan 13 cap and gown sneaker. Uh, releases April 27th, and that's a no. That would be a no. Get them out of here, forget them. I won't be copying those at all period anyway man it's been your boy mike reach man i hope y'all enjoyed this video uh y'all hit the thumbs up like subscribe and all that good stuff uh some soul premise bag still on dick i like them it's sitting right beside me so every video i'll be like i mentioned it you can fit five shoes in this bag and a whole bunch of other stuff clothes and everything to go on your trip tsa approved throw it up in the um the carry-on spot on the plane man and you gucci got all your shoes ready to go with you on your trip uh y'all hit the um the link below in the description use my code mike rich for 30 percent off your entire order man do that do that do it i appreciate everybody for watching hit the thumbs up like subscribe and all that good stuff hit the notification bell so you can become a part of rich nation all the way up to 300k man let's get that 300k to the moon on them you feel me and keep watching my video because that's what i'm here for gone <laughs> Just kick, Jordan, six, eight and nine, fit, hottest, trends, clank, clank, cleanse, bless, yes, I'm rich, M, I K E, you know me, O G, only, real, no phony, A T L, homie, shot my boy T, Y F H B, I see mint freeze on my free throw line three, Mike, rich, no 
hype. 